Hey guys, my name is Tiffany. Welcome to Tiff Eck. This is my fur baby Cooper. And this is my cute husband Drake. I love a good project and can't wait to share some DIY projects with you all. In this video, I'm going to show you how to build this super cute farmhouse desk. It was so easy, so cheap, and so fun to make, and I think it turned out pretty dang awesome. The tools you will need are listed here. You will also need wood glue, two and a half inch wood screws, and two and a half inch pocket hole screws. Here's the wood you will need, and here's your cut list. Here is the stain and finish that I used. First, you're going to start out by cutting all your boards to the appropriate sizes listed in the cut list. Remember, measure twice, cut once. Next, you'll want to lightly sand all your pieces down, focusing mainly on the raw cut edges. Guys, my grandpa taught Drake how to garden this year and he grew this watermelon himself. This is a proud wife moment. When your sandpaper gets dull, make sure to switch it out for a new piece. Did I mention I love my dog kind of a lot? Now I'm marking where these 18 inch 1x4s will be attached to the 20 inch 2x4s. I'm just finding the middle and then making a 1.5 inch space where the 2x4 will be screwed in. Yes, a 2x4 is actually 1.5 inches thick. I'll never understand that. Here's what your pile of wood should look like for just one leg. We have a drill bit to pre-drill holes where screws will go. On the other one, we have a Phillips screw head. And here's our wood glue. Always make sure to pre-drill your holes so that your wood doesn't crack when you're putting the screws in. So we're just screwing the 18 inch 1x4 to the 20 inch 2x4. Now the other side. Next, we're screwing on a 21 inch 2x4. The ends of this board were cut at a 45 degree angle, which we forgot to film, I'm so sorry. 
You can use your miter saw to cut at an angle. Next is the normal 21 inch 2x4. Also, if you don't have someone to help you with this project, you can easily use clamps to hold the wood in place. Next, you're going to nail on these 10 and 3 quarter inch 2x4s, which were also cut at a 45 degree angle. We used a nail gun, but you could also use a hammer and nails. If you don't have either of these tools, you could also just glue these pieces on. They actually don't hold any of the weight of the desk. They're actually just for decoration. Now we're just adding these little three and a half inch one by fours. And here's the first leg all finished. Isn't it so cute? I just love it. You can move to the tabletop. I made sure to sand the tabletop a lot better than the leg pieces because I wanted a nice smooth finish for the top. Let me introduce you to my best friend, the Craig Jig. Guys, if you don't have one of these, you need to invest in it. It is a lifesaver. I use it in every single project. Adjust your Craig jig to the correct settings. Make sure to read the instructions to find out how to set it up correctly. I'm drilling two holes in this 47 inch 2x4 on each end where it will connect to the desk's legs. This drill bit comes with your Craig jig. You will want the first 2x4 to line up with the edge of the 1x4. You will use this Robertson screw head for the pocket hole screws.
Your next 47 inch 2x4 will need to be lined up with the center 2x4. Make sure these are flush with the top of the leg. Next, connect it to the other leg. I should have drilled these Craig jig holes before attaching these pieces to the desk, but I forgot and that's what's so nice about the Craig jig, is I can easily just connect it to the desk and do it this way. These are the holes you will use to screw the tabletop on later. I make a hole about every foot. Also make sure you're drilling all your holes on the inside of the board so that you won't be able to see them from the front or back of the desk. Next, you will drill more holes on the 60 inch 2x12s so that you can screw these two pieces together. Make sure that you're screwing the holes in different places on each board so none of the nails run into each other. Place your tabletop on the legs upside down and clamp them together to make the next step easier. Screw the two pieces together. Flip your tabletop over and line it up on the legs how you want it. I only wanted the front of my desk to hang over the legs, so I lined up the back side flush with the legs. I made sure that the same distance was hanging over on the right and left sides. Then I clamped the tabletop to the legs and screwed it in. Now the easy part. Mix your two stain colors. I used a half pint of Minwax Weathered Oak and a half pint of Minwax Special Oak. I like to use a cloth or rag to stain. Let the stain dry overnight. Next, I sealed it with Minwax Paste Finishing Wax in the color Neutral. I wanted a more matte, rustic look and the wax turned out perfect for this look. If you want a glossier look, you can use a polyurethane. And there you have it guys, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and come back for more. 
Let me know in the comments below what kind of projects you would like to see from me. Thanks guys!